My name is Mitsuhiko Omiya. I'm a 20-year-old college student. I've never had a lot of friends. Now, in college, I was really alone. Thank you for this meal. I've gotten used to being alone, but... You're alone again? You're so creepy eating alone every day. This is Hideki Tateoka. He was in the same study group as me. He always made fun of me for whatever reason. He was extroverted and always with someone. Who cares? I like being alone. Don't act tough. You just can't make friends. Listen, your worth in college is directly related to how many friends you have. So, you're worthless. He really thought that. He berated me for not having friends. In reality, he did have a lot of connections. He was living his best extrovert life, unlike me. Don't you all think so? Huh? Oh, I mean, who cares? We should go get lunch before the cafeteria fills up. Yeah, you have fun eating alone then, unlike us. When I saw him in our study group, this is how he was. It made me more scared to be around people, and I became more alone. It was a bad cycle. On weekends, I went camping. It was one of my little pleasures in life. Solo camping is the best. I don't have to talk to anyone, and it's quiet. I started camping alone to be alone, but I didn't think this hobby would last for years. I was enjoying myself when... Oh, someone's there. A solo camper! We got lucky! Let's ask him! A guy and a girl looked at me and ran over. They, they are so beautiful. I'm nothing like them. Their aura is blinding. Excuse me, can we? Sh sure, what do you need? We're all camping over there with our college friends, but we're all beginners. We thought it would work out. But we can't even set up our tent! Do you know a lot about camping? If it's okay, we'd like you to help us. If you go solo camping, you probably know more than us! Please, look at us! Sure, okay. They didn't seem like bad people. I wanted to help if they needed it. I was taken to their spot, where a group of beautiful people were waiting. Hey, I brought someone! Whoa, you actually brought someone! You're pretty useful sometimes, Keichiro! Underhanded! You could tell at first glance that they were extroverts. I feel like I didn't belong here. I feel like I've seen them before. We're all from Love Koi Uni. I'm Arisa Kawakami, 20 years old, second year. I'm Keichiro Aoki! I wanna be in a band! Lavko Uni? That's my school! I had heard before that there was a group of beautiful people at my school. People who were nominated Miss Lavkoi, successful investors. It was these people! H hello I'm Mitsuhiko Omiya. I'm 20. Actually, I'm also a second year at Lavkoi. Seriously? Whoa! And the same age? Whee! What, what a coincidence! <laughs> what major? What clubs are you in? So, so outgoing! Can I really work with these people? I was worried at first, but once things started... Oh, this is a pretty advanced tent. It's a bit difficult for beginners. You should put the pegs in at an angle. Uh, like this? Yeah, you're good. Once we started, they all listened to my directions and worked diligently. How do you use this? Oh, you press this button and... I felt like everyone was trying to help each other. What a close group. They're all nice. Okay, we're done setting up. Let's get to what everyone's been waiting for. My song! You're on the barbecue team. There are some weirdos, but that's fine. 
Miyachi, do you have any requests? I can play anything. Uh, n not really. Wait, am I Miyachi? Miyachi because Omiya. Nice, right? Call me Keiichiro. What do you usually listen to? Uh, usually, uh, anime music. Oh, anime music. Nice. I watch anime too. Oh, really? That's unexpected. What do you watch? One Ease, Naruto, Deep on Slayer, yeah! Oh, I get it. As basic as tourists saying they love sushi tempura Mount Fuji. They can just power through a conversation. I was overwhelmed. Recently, I liked Re Arrow, and that time I got reincarnated as a lime, yeah! What? After a few minutes, the setup was finished. My job was done. I'll be off then. I'm glad I could help. Wait, you're leaving? I don't think I can help with anything else. Whoa, whoa, Miyachi! You can't. The show's about to start. The uh, the show? The show, as in the barbecue. Yeah. yeah! Right? We brought some good meat. They all expected me to stay. This is how extroverts worked. I was in awe. I, I can just eat your food. You guys did most of the work. What are you saying? You worked the hardest. Yeah, if you weren't here, it would take another 26 hours for the tent set up. Your directions were easy to understand. Everyone thanked me. I really didn't think I did much. They're not gonna let me leave. Yeah! Uh, I guess I'll eat a little. Yeah! yeah! That's how I ended up eating barbecue with the most well-known clique at our school. Everyone got to work. Some people carried the food from the car. Others got the chairs. I had cooked at campsites before, so I directed people here too. Everyone's having fun. I'm also having fun. I had never gone camping with so many people. Meanwhile, Kawakami-san was carrying food. Okay, okay. Arisa-chan, you good? Isn't that heavy? Oh yeah, I'm fine. I'm pretty strong. You don't look it. Your arms are super thin. Here, we'll carry this, so you rest. Whoa! I I'm fine! It's fine. Leave this kind of stuff to the man. Uh, this again? They leave me out. I want to do stuff too. Mia-san, is there anything I can do? I was preparing the fire when she spoke to me. Uh, something you can do? Is he gonna tell me to rest? Hmm, then... Let's do the fire together. I was about to start. Fire? You're gonna let me do that? What? Oh, of course. Getting stuff ready is the fun part. Uh, yeah, you're right. Nice, Somiya-kun. You get it. What? Uh, th uh, thank you. Kawakami-san started speaking comfortably with me. You place different fire starters in different ways. For these ones... You start a fire like that, right? Get a stick and rub it in between your hands. I want to do that. That that works too, but uh, nowadays people use lighters. <laughs> that method hasn't been used for a thousand years. Kawakami-san was curious about everything. She wanted to do things herself. I think it's fine. Once the fire weakens, get some oxygen in there with a the poker. I want to do it! 
Whoa, too much, too much! She, she's wilder than she looks! After that, the preparations were finished. The barbecue was a blast. Yum! The meat's so soft! Oh, um, yeah? You eat too. F thank you. Eat the biggest one! Yeah, you're our MVP for sure. They were all having fun, but taking care of each other. Such good people. I could tell that each of them cared about each other. I was scared of extroverted people, but I guess not all of them were bad. How long has it been since I've been around all this noise? Oh, let's exchange contacts! I'll put you in our group chat! Oh, okay! I was having the most fun I had ever had. That was how my camping trip ended. Shoot, my meeting ran long. I better hurry. A few days later, after our study group, I was trying to leave quickly when Tateoka came up to me. Where are you rushing off to? I have plans after this. People are waiting for me. Huh? You're a loner. No way you have plans to see people. Don't put on a front. It's probably some anime. I ignored him and left. Oh, Miyachi! Over here! Sorry I'm late. You're early. Some people aren't here yet. You don't have to rush. You're so responsible. We had been in contact since that day and hung out together. We were doing different measures, so we didn't have lectures together. But we hung out when we were free. They greeted me when they saw me at school. I had been alone for so long, it made me happy. Omiya-kun, morning! Good morning, Kawakami-san. About what we talked about yesterday. I loved coming to school just to talk about random things. They weren't just hanging around, they had started a business too. This is my office. It's not that big, but... Whoa! You already have your own business! So, you're CEO? Phew! So cool! If I can't find a job, I'm gonna come here. Don't talk like you're gonna fail. I'll always be here though, so feel free to ask me anything. My life has been turned around by these people. It was stimulating. Oh Mia, you're gonna eat alone again? I was waiting for people when Tateoka came up. I've been eating with some friends, actually. Don't put on a front. I've never seen you hang out with anyone here. We study different things, so we don't have lectures together. We just say hi. Tateoka could not believe that I could make friends. Call them here, then. If you can't, you do what I say. How about it? I'm waiting for them now. Usually I go over. Huh? Wait, really? Maybe he was worried about my confidence. He tried to get himself together. I'm sure they're creepy weirdos just like you. That doesn't count, okay? Miyachi, it's been so long. I've never been in here. Everyone arrived as Tateoka was talking. Sorry we're late. Who's this? Tateoka was in shock. A Aoki and... Miss Lovekoi Kawakami? They're famous! Why are they here? They really were well known. Wait, wait, are you guys really friends? Yeah, of course! We did karaoke till the morning! We've been hanging out a lot recently! We eat lunch together a lot too. We're going camping together next weekend. We can't camp without Omiya anymore. Tateoka was shaking as he listened to them. Then, he laughed. Oh, he's like your servant. You're using him, right? Huh? I get it. You make him pay for your meals and stuff. That's nice. I'll do that next time. The mood shifted. Tateoka didn't notice and kept going. Do you guys know me? I have the most friends at this school. Don't hang with this weirdo. Let's all get together and go to a club or something. Shut up. I had never heard such a scary voice come from Keiichiro. Who are you? 
Why are you insulting someone's friend? It's super annoying. What? I just said the truth. He finally realized that everyone was looking at him. But it wasn't Keiichiro that lost his cool. It was Kawakami-san. Whatever. Let's go. What a waste of time being around him. Your eyes, Kawakami-san! I had never seen her look like that. Not only Tateoka, but I also backed away. We're Omiya's friends. I don't want to talk to someone that insults their friends. Why are you friends with him? What does that get you? <sighs> You're sad. You're thinking about what your friends can get you. You must not have any friends. Wh what? Friends are people you like to be around. Thinking about other people's friendships. You don't have confidence? That's why you're like that. I was shocked by the changing Kawakami-san, but I tried to mediate. What's wrong, Kawakami-san? This isn't like you. I can't help it. Anyone would get mad if someone they like was being made fun of. Someone you like? Wait, me? I was shocked again. Since when did she... I thought you were great since we first met during camping. You let me start the fire. I was really happy. That was nothing. Maybe it's my looks, but... Boys always think I'm reserved. The guys always worry about me. Arisa-chan, I'll carry the papers. I'll do the cleaning for you. I was grateful, but I felt like I was being left out. But you told me this. Getting ready is the fun part. I was happy. Oh, okay. A lot of people come to us for our looks and status. But you didn't care about that, so we all liked you. I didn't know they saw me like that. I didn't really think about it. I decided to tell everyone how I had felt. I always get super into whatever I'm doing. When I was forced to do stuff in high school, I got super into it. I finished everything overnight. Wait, that's crazy! My classmates got really mad at me. Why did you do it all? We wanted to get ready too! That's when I realized, what I did wasn't helpful, it was excessive. I've been scared to help people since then. Solo camping, I can do on my own. I really didn't do anything this time. Omiya? Oh, no. Mitsuhiko-kun? Don't just say that. You're just too nice. Helping isn't excessive. Your kindness made me happy. If you're thinking about others, it's not excessive. Kawakami-san. I felt her kindness and her feelings for me through her hands. Everyone around us congratulated us. As for Tateoka... Oh, Mia got into the best group of people and now he has a patient girlfriend? No way! You just happened to get in? Don't get cocky! I have a lot more friends. I'm better than you! Tateoka, who cares about how many friends you have? Why do you care so much? Keichiro heard Tateoka's name and seemed to realize something. Huh? Tateoka? Are you Hideki Tateoka? Yeah, yeah, see? I'm famous around here. You are famous. For being annoying and acting like you know people. What? I heard that too. You talk to people when it's exam time and try to get notes. My girlfriend said that you were annoying to them too. N no that's because... I guess Tatooka really was well known around the school for bad reasons. You think having connections is just a one-sided thing? 
true friendship is caring about the other person like Mitsuhiko does. God da damn it! You don't think that your worth is determined by the number of friends you have, do you? I remembered what Tateoka had said to me some time ago. Listen, your worth in college is directly related to how many friends you have, so you're worthless. I guess he was too caught up in this. So, he tried to make too many connections and ended up not connecting with anyone. I was always alone, so I understood wanting to connect with people. Tateoka, if you want, you and I... Oof! But... Sh shut up! Don't get cocky! Oh! Oh! I watched Tateoka run away and lowered my outstretched arm. Tateoka became afraid to talk to his friends and stopped talking to people. He stopped coming to lectures, took a year off, then dropped out. Damn it! No one's contacting me! I really didn't have any friends! Meanwhile, I started dating Arisa. I was still close to everyone in the group, and I was living a good life. Keiichiro was getting hyped up about doing a barbecue and a campfire at the beach. A campfire? That's gonna be a lot of work. <laughs> but it's fine, right? We can get through anything if we're all together, right? <laughs> yeah. You're right! People can't live alone. That's why we make friends. But it can't be one-sided. Respect one another. That's true friendship. My amazing friends helped me realize that. And I want to cherish them forever. Hi hi! It's your favorite Brittany! So this has been one of my favorite episodes I've done in a while. I felt like I was watching like a My Little Pony episode and no shade i love my little pony in fact fun tidbit most of the voices that i draw inspiration from are my little pony characters like 